Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today we are going to be making ourselves some blacksmith beads. So we're making this from 3 8 inch square stock, mild steel. And the first step in this process is we're going to want to twist this up. Now you're going to want to twist this fairly heavily, if you can, and evenly. Now there's some differences, you can go thick, you can go with a harder twist or thinner twist. Really it's all on you. Uh, to choose wh what is appropriate for the type of bead that you're wanting to make. But we are going to go with a fairly tight twist on this one, and I'll show you the results of this. So we're doing 3 8 square or 9.5 mil uh, for you metric lovers out there. And there you go. Now, to, it is my suggestion that you twist a good bit of stock all in a go if you can versus having this loose stock here and tighter stock here try to heat up as long of a section of bar as you can and give it all a big twist as you go there so now comes the next stage the next stage in making a blacksmithing or a blacksmith bead we're going to go ahead and let this cool down naturally nice and slow over by the fire if you are doing a bunch of these you're going to make a whole bunch more of these twists and so on and so forth get a whole bunch of these pickets twisted if you will and that will be what we'll want to take and do if you're going to do this in a production mindset so after this cools down we'll go on to the next uh, step which will be sawing these off and then drilling our hole so the next step in this process is we want to take and part this piece of material off the bar stock so the way that we are going to do this is we're going to saw off this little bit of an end here. You'll see why this is important here in a minute. We want to saw off this little bit of end here. And we also want to take and cut off this area where it's a little loose, a little more loose on the wrapping. And really what we're trying to save is about this piece right in here. That is going to end up getting uh, cut up at a later date into our actual beads. But we can't really part it off right here because that's going to be the last cut. We still want to have somewhat of a handle. So I'm going to come back here to this untwisted, and I'm going to cut it off here. Now this is going to look fairly wasteful. This isn't such a big deal when you've twisted the whole bar. You just, you'll just grip and hold on the twisted section back here. Uh, but I don't need all this for this demonstration. But ideally, you want to take and have something that is about 3 inches in length to work with for the next step, which is drilling the holes. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up and cut this off. All right, so there we go. Now we got that cut off. Now we can go over to take and go to the drill press. Okay, now that you're over here at the drill press, we wanna take and get this locked up vertically in the vise. Now you can see why it's important that you wanna have all this. Uh, you wanna have that extra length there of four inches. And what we're going to do is we're gonna pre-drill this down to, oh, I don't know, about an inch in depth or so. That way the drill bit doesn't wander too much. It all depends on how much run out your drill press has on how far that'll wander as you drill down through that deep. But one inch, you're generally pretty safe and it's gonna make up quite a bit of beads at once. So let's go ahead and kick this on.
go. So now we've got a hole drilled. Now this is going to come up real nice to be multiple beads. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these off in roughly a little 3 8 of an inch or 9.5 mil slabs if you will. We're just going to slab this out and cut it off just like you were cutting logs um, for the fireplace. So that's what we'll do now. We'll go over and do that now. But you can see now we've got all these little bits that would have been really small and kind of fiddly to put in the vise here and try to drill one by one. Now we've pre-drilled a bunch of them at once and now all we've got to do is slab cut these off and we're almost finished. So there you have it. So after you get this all cut off, this is what you end up with. Um, here are some earlier examples. Here's the examples that we just cut off the bar. I cut one at a quarter inch or a thin little slice of six mil by three eighths. And you can see it's still got quite a bit of detail to it. Uh, you, if you're gonna slice them up this thin, you'll definitely wanna take and put on an additional uh, another twist, another round of twisting just to get more detail here, although you may like the looks of this. And then this one here was cut at 3 8 of an inch or 9.5 mil. And you can look at the bead there and see that it has quite a bit of character for a little blacksmithing bead. The last thing to do with these is to rub them on a bit of emery cloth to take and take off any sharp edges. So this way they're more comfortable on the wrist to wear. But you can make these in any sort of sizes, shapes, just by altering the twist. There's one with a tighter twist. There's one with a medium twist. There's one with a really loose twist to it. And these can be a really great item to market at craft fairs uh, to your fellow crafters. There's a lot of people that are into doing beads or beading, and these are an excellent seller there. Uh, you can expect to get somewhere around the range of about 50 cents to up to a buck each, as these are more of like a novelty type thing, something to add in there. You can come up with whatever selling gimmick you want. These are a quantiful type of item at a show like that, or it's these are also a great item to take and do some trading with. You bring them, you show a, beaded, uh, a lady that does necklace or a guy that does necklaces or whatever that's doing the whole beading work and doing like bead work and stuff and say, hey, I'll make you up 50 of these for in trades for maybe a necklace for the wife or uh, daughter or something like that. And, uh, you know, or maybe even for yourself, you know, they'll make a they'll make a necklace or a bracelet for you out of the work that you've just done here. So once again, they're a great item. They're a great thing to have in the store. You never know what, how many in quantity you might sell. Let me know what you think of this, con of this video in the comment section down below. And as always, I hope it was helpful to you and God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.